This is one of a set of legendary pictures that was taken from the roof of the Hotel Marquette in 1908. It provides a window back into a time when Marquette's Lower Harbor wasn't the playground it is today, but when it was the beating heart of an industrial city. And if you know what you're looking at, the outlines of that beating heart become clear. Let's start with the three docks in the picture. The dock on the right is DSSNA dock number one, which was built in the early 1880s and was the longest dock ever constructed in Lower Harbor, extending almost half a mile from shore. The dock was just a few years away from being torn down. The pilings upon which it was built currently serve as the foundation for Marquette's new walking pier. The dock in the middle was the old Spear Merchandise Dock, built upon the pilings of the original Cleveland Dock, which was the only one to survive the Great Fire of 1868. We'll talk more about that dock in a second. Finally, the dock on the left was DSSNA Dock Number 5. It had only been built three years prior to the picture being taken, and it was used as Lower Harbor's main ore dock until DSSNA Dock Number 6, the big one still in Lower Harbor, was built in 1931. Dock 5 was then torn down, and its pilings are currently used for the Association Dock. Now, let's go back to the Spear Dock, which was actually a multi-use dock when this picture was taken. If you look, you'll see a passenger boat offloading at the dock and another one waiting just offshore. But the dock was also used to load coal for the Spear Company at this gantry complex. In fact, if you look closely, you can even see the nose of a coal ship nestled against the dock. This footage from a few years later shows coal being unloaded at that dock. The Spear Company used this as Marquette's main coal yard until 1927 when it transformed the pilings of the old Jackson dock on the other side of the harbor to build the legendary Spear Coal Yard. That was used for 50 years until coal fell out of fashion as a home heating fuel. Now, of course, that coal yard has been turned into Lower Harbor Park. The picture also shows us a couple of things you may not notice at first glance. If you look really closely, you can see that the spear dock was actually connected to Ripley's Rock. You could simply walk out to the rocks instead of having to swim or kayak. And if you look out at the break wall, you'll see that it only extends part of the way into the harbor. The rock section that now juts into the lake wasn't put into place until three years after this picture was taken. While the focus of the picture is the water, you can catch a glimpse of a few onshore sites as well. The rocks right across the street from the hotel where the picture was taken was Lakeside Park, which is now more commonly referred to as Father Marquette Park. The picture was from before the Father Marquette statue had been moved from its original home at the City Waterworks. While most of the buildings in the picture no longer exist, you can see a few that are still around, like the Customs House in the building at 111 East Barriga. And if you look off in the distance up on the Ridge Street Hill, you can see the towers of the Howard Froebel School, which at the time was Marquette's junior and senior high school. Pictures like this provide a glimpse into what Marquette was like in the past and serve as a valuable guide to what life may have been like for our great-grandparents. Of course, for everything they teach us, they may also leave us with a question or two to be answered as well. Like, perhaps, just what was the reason for the parade marching up Front Street at the exact moment this picture was taken way back in 1908?